Forbes magazine last year said that we were the number one city in America for someone with a college degree. Number one. Not New York, not Chicago, not L.A., not San Francisco. A hefty title for a city with large goals. City officials say nearly $500 million was invested in Cincinnati in 2016, creating more than 2,300 jobs. We're making sure that we're doing it all in the neighborhoods. I think a good statistic is that 71% of our investment that we talked about today was actually facilitated in the neighborhoods. So most people think about these commercial projects that are in the neighborhood of downtown, right? But in actuality, we're seeing a lot of investment in the neighborhoods that people are living with outside of downtown. Invest funneling into projects like the creation of more than 800 new housing units geared towards helping families. We want to reduce the poverty rate, which is why we've seen a 5% reduction in child poverty rate through our Hand Up initiative that connects people with job opportunities. But it's still too high, even though it's 5% down. And so we want to keep bringing down that poverty rate and bringing opportunity in middle class, uh, the size of the middle class up. The city says it's trying its hardest to maximize the dollar. In 2016, for every $1 they spent, they received eight back, making it easier to lure investors to the city. We're leveraging that up, and that's how we get close to that billion dollar investment over the two years. More money means more projects, one of the larger ones being in Avondale. We're going to be breaking ground on a health clinic this uh, uh, summer at Reading and Rockdale. And then on top of that, the Children's Hospital is investing almost a half a billion dollars in Avondale. So there'll be jobs and opportunity in Avondale probably more than ever. The question becomes how to bring more people in without pushing people out, which city leaders say they're working on. At City Hall, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5. I still